Hi, tweens, and welcome to Tween Scene Online for November. Today, <clears throat> we're going to be making dinosaur mosaics. In your kit, you'll find everything you need for this, uh, starting with your dinosaur template, a disposable bowl and spoon for mixing the grout, your glass tiles, glass beads, and small acrylic pieces for decorating, a craft stick for picking up the glass tiles. You'll see how that's used later. Some school glue uh, to glue things down before we grout. A bag of powdered grout. We'll figure out how to show you how to use that. You're going to need a cup with some water later for the grout. All right, we are now ready to make our dinosaurs. Um, you're going to first decide how you want your beads and tiles to look. So you take out your mini beads and your glass tiles and little acrylic pieces. Now while we're going to position and glue things down now, uh, you will only be gluing down the big glass tiles, the acrylic be pieces and the beads we will add after we grout. Um, the... Glass tiles can go wherever you want. The acrylic pieces are me meant for the little bitty spaces like down the tail and the arm and the foot and the top of the dino's head. And you can fill in any empty areas with the glass beads you want. So just play around with the design. Decide how you want it to go. Um, and once every you've decided everything, then it'll be time to glue it down. So I'm just going to take this stuff out of the way and then show you my example where I've um, already decided on my design. So put this away. Here's my design that I have already decided I like the way it looks. And you can see I've got some acrylic pieces and some big pieces there. I'm going to get my glue. And I'm just going to pick up each piece one by one, and put a little bit of glue down and dab it. Um, I'm not going to glue down my acrylic yet, even though I have it in here positioned to see how it would look, because I don't want it to get lost in the grout later. So um, you can use your craft stick as a little lever to pry up the pieces if you're having trouble getting them with your fingers. Just put a drop of glue and put your tile in place. Um, the craft stick also helps not mess up the other tiles that are in place already when you're trying to get up the piece you want to glue. So your tiles may look slightly different. They all came in a mixed bag, so there may be different colors that you receive. Some of you have white, some of you have blue. Most of you have uh, green and greenish yellow of some kind. You can see, there we go. The craft stick comes in handy picking up some of these pieces. And once everything is glued down, you're going to want to let it um, dry for at least a half an hour before we grout. I'm not going to glue all the pieces down in the video right now because it would be boring to watch but you can get the idea of how it goes. And before I grout, I'm going to want to take out these acrylic pieces um, because they will get lost in the grout and it'll be hard to kind of expose them. So we'll take them out. It can be a little tricky because they're so tiny. We'll take them out before we grout and then add them once we have the grout in place. So there we go. So you get the idea. This one is stubborn and doesn't want to come out. I'll, I can always dig that out later. All right. And so you get the idea about gluing down the pieces, little dab. Give it time to dry all the way. 
leaving out the acrylic and the beads for later. So use your acrylic and your beads. You're going to set that aside before we grout. Okay, now we get to the fun, messy part. Um, our beads have been glued in, our beads, our tiles, and we have our acrylic and bead pieces set aside. You're going to need some wet paper towels and some dry paper towels, uh, so a cup of water, and make sure that you have a paper plate or something to protect your area. Um, we're going to start with our grout and our disposable bowl. And this is the spatula I forgot to show earlier. It's part of your kit, and we'll use that when we spread our grout. So we're going to start with the powdered grout and carefully pour. I'm going to start with a little more than half of the grout and pour that in to my bowl. I want to retain some in case I add too much water. Um, so I can save it a little bit. So I've got about half there. I may need to add more. And I want just to start with a teeny tiny little drizzle of water. Just a little bit. And stir it up. Because you can always add more water. You can't take it away if you've got too much. Stir it up. I want the consistency to be kind of like toothpaste uh, or ice cream that's just starting to melt. You want it to still have a little bit of thickness to it. You don't want it to be watery or soupy. So toothpaste is probably the best example of what the consistency should look like when you're done mixing it. And then when you're done, you can start just gently plopping it in place onto your dinosaur. And you're going to spread it around. You can start spreading with the back of your spoon. Trying to get it in all the little nooks and crannies between the tiles. And I didn't use, uh, let's see, I'm going to put some even in the spaces where I haven't put my acrylic tiles yet because I'm going to need grout in there. I'm going to need to add a little more grout and a little more water. Still retaining a little bit left just in case I accidentally put too much water in. Let's see, a little bit more, stir it up. A little bit more water. As I said, you can always add more water so it's good to be. Um, it's good to be easy on the hand with the water before, and you can always add more. All right, and there's my grout. I keep adding a little bit more, spreading it around. Oh, and you want to make sure you get into all the little cracks. And really, your spoon is the best tool for spreading it at this point. Try to keep it in the dinosaur and not on the plate. <laughs> the grout takes a while to dry, so you have some time to mess with it. You don't have to rush to get it in place, is my point. Making sure I get it all in the empty spots. At this point, you're like, I can't see any of my tiles. It's okay. You don't panic. <laughs> all will be revealed shortly. But if it's not all filled in, then it's going to, the tiles may pop out later as it dries.
Okay. All right. Then we can get our scraper. And it's easiest just to put your bowl on top of your plate there and start at the top and just kind of scrape your way down. You're still not going to see all your tiles at this point, but you can, you're going to scrape your excess into the bowl. So it'll catch it and keep your kitchen neat. You just want to lightly scrape along the top. You don't want to dig in because that might pry some of your tiles out. And you want to kind of get any of the grout that may have um, come out of the sides of the dinosaur there. And you can scrape it along the sides of your bowl there. When you've got most of it off your dinosaur, so that it's pretty, pretty evenly distributed, you can set aside your scraper in your bowl, put your dino back on your plate, and you can start putting your acrylic and beads in. So just gently place them where you want them, where you know you don't have a big glass tile. Uh, let's see, I know there's one there. Okay, and I think I need some along the other ridges, but what I'm going to need to do now is get my damp paper towel and just gently wipe clean your tiles. If you know that there's a tile under some place and but you can't see it, you just kind of go along the surface and gently wipe away some of the excess grout. Don't worry about leaving streaks because after everything is dried, you can go over it again and it will, um, the streaks will clear off, but the rest of the grout will remain. So just gently cleaning and going over the glass tiles, exposing them so you can see where else you might want to add beads. Let's see, I know I have a couple up here. Yeah, there's one. There's another. All right, now I'm going to make a mess here with my beads and add some into the empty places. Careful, these will fly everywhere, as you can see. And I'm just going to add some in where the tiles were too big to fit. And you don't have to push down very far, just enough so that they get caught in the grout. Put a couple down by his feet. two here. You can see this is a big one. All right. And then just again, keep going over gently with your damp paper towel, clear off most of the yucky grout off of the tile surface and the last little bit of cleaning you can do after everything is dry in about a day or so. And you should have plenty of tiles and plenty of beads uh, and acrylic pieces for the whole to complete the project and have a few left over. And there you have it. Now you should let it dry for at least a day um, before you set it out on display somewhere. And uh, again, after it's been dry for a day, you can take a little bit of uh, damp paper towel and just clean each individual tile. Because right now it's kind of it'll just re be streaky again as, as the mortar is damp all the way around it.
try not to make any dents in your tile or the mortar. All right. And there you have it. There is your design. See you next time.